those that are new, welcome. I hope you're all doing okay and that you had a good week. This week, what we're going to do is, are you going to be together? So we're going into the future energy of you and your person's connection. Now, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, so we go into all your energies, all your people's energy, and we pull out the strongest energy. Kind of how you worked out the average of maths at school, if you ever did that. Um, it, it works on that. So if you want an individual reading, just give me a shout. Um, deck number one and deck number two. So I need you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you get drawn to that deck, if you can really feel the emotion, for your person in your heart chakra and feel that energy being pushed into the deck okay if you can't feel it visualize a pink or green color going to the deck that you are most drawn to so what we're doing there is we're getting your energies and merging your people's energies into the tarot cards okay let's do this so deck number one let's go let's go what news have I got for you? Um, I'm going away in two weeks' time. Um, I'm at the I'm at the tarot conference, the, the international tarot conference, um, and then I am away as well for a couple of days. So if you want to book, um, either book now or there might be a delay. So I just need to let you all know that. Um, I won't be gone for long, but I'm gone for like a week. A week um so my out of office is going to be on as well think about your person for me can you get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes i sliced and diced my finger good and proper so i've had to find a new um ergonomic let's go with ergonomic way of shuffling the cards this week um yeah i super glued it back together should have gone to hospital had stitches but I super glued it Okay, your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So the first thing that I'm getting is I'm getting the weekend blinded by the lights, um, which is quite an interesting song for you guys. I'm not entirely sure of the lyrics of it, um, but I know it says that I can't sleep until I feel your touch. And that is very much coming into your person and yours energy. Okay, so will them and their person be together? Will they end up in a relationship? I've also put the Lennon math down as well. Will they end up together? Will they be together? Straight away, you have a victory in that, okay? So that's really cool. I like it when that happens. Will they end up being together? Three, four, five, okay. I'm just going to stick with these five and then I'm going to just get your lemon math for you as well because these are kind of giving you the answer straight up. Um, this little lemon math deck is totally adorable. Uh, what's it called? Whisper lemon math. You have to get it off Etsy. If you like lemon math, this deck is so cute. Okay, will deck number one and their person be together? So yeah, straight off the bat, you've got very, very strong and positive cards in your mutual energy between you all. Um, very strong indicator that this is a yes, you, oh, you, are, you guys are going to get it sorted and you are going to be with your person. Um, regardless of what the individual circumstances are and situations between the two of you, there is a very, very strong love happening between you both. Um, and your person, although they haven't always handled the situation in the right way or in the best respects, they have got these very strong emotions for you. So let's go with the cards to begin with. What we have over here um, is you have your three of wands and your six of wands indicating that, yes, there is a really good chance you guys are going to make it through and that you will be together. Your person is looking out towards their emotions at the moment. They're trying to stay in the very present um stay in the present moment, rather than looking to the future and where things are going, they are staying right here, right now, um, in the moment, but they have these very strong ideas that there is a way you guys are going to work out. No matter what shit has been going on, okay, so there's been a lot of shit happening between you and your person, largely for a lot of you it's kind of coming to a close or easing down a little bit, or even if you're kind of not together, this kind of burden feeling is being put on the sideline now and being pushed pushed away and your person is really focusing on their emotions for you being a lot more calm and stable over the situation you have your overall victory over here if we look at these two i love this deck so much if we look at this deck you have this kind of hands casting fasting i can never remember what it's called um which is a sign of potential marriage going on 
with that as well it's really kind of i'm really being drawn to the cat on these cards so over here we have the cat kind of on the sideline looking towards him and you would kind of symbolize the cat on this okay so you are looking at your person who's looking out to their emotions towards you and over here the cat is on your person's shoulder and you're standing right next to them and this is symbolizing here a union a coming together of things working out between the two of you it's a very very strong energy to begin with now with that being said if we look at the lenoma we have this little bit of a burden over your person's behavior okay so yes overall the outcome of the two of you looking to be together is very positive it's very strong we look at the lenoma it takes us a little bit deeper and it's saying that there's a burden over here about your person's behavior perhaps you're worried that they've been deceptive or that you can't trust them or that they haven't been honest with themselves or with you, you have this kind of spinning around your thought process. And so at the moment, it looks like you guys are probably having a bit of a breather, a bit of downtime, that nothing much is really happening, you're a bit fed up. Um, I don't really like the word healing. Um, I view it as a way of kind of self aligning back with yourself rather than saying the word healing. And that's essentially where you and your person are at the moment. You're going through the center, this aligning back to your energies. So you might be feeling a little bit better, a little bit up and down still um, because you have these burdens going on in your thought process. But you also have this kind of aligning with yourself energy or healing energy if you wanted to use that word. You've got these blocks that have been happening in the past between you both. And this is why these thoughts are still burdening your mind, because you have been through a lot. You know, you and your person have been through a lot. Um, now, that being said as well, if we kind of move on, we have this, um, the fox leading to the book with Lenorma. So what this is saying over here is that perhaps you heard something uh, from your person or a situation happened with your person and it wasn't what you were expecting, kind of threw you a little bit of kilt or it just didn't work out and you were hit with this, oh my God, it's all gone wrong. It's all kind of come up to a close. Um, but from this, kind of gaining this knowledge over this, feeling a little bit better about the situation, you've suddenly got retrospect on it. And that is then going to be leading to messages if you're not in communication, news coming forward from your person. And you have got this movement coming towards you. OK, so where all this stuff from the past is now being left behind, you have this movement stepping forward into your energy. And this movement is definitely from your other half. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but with Lenormand, there is a man and a woman and um, so this man is going to symbolize your counterpart essentially okay so you've got news coming in from your person when they do communicate with you we're going to kind of go back to the start and they will be saying to you um about what's happened between you both there is going to be an open communication going on they aren't going to avoid all the shit you guys have been through they are going to talk about it openly and willingly okay so if you guys can communicate things properly um and talk it all through, then there's a really good chance over here that these actions are stepping into your fulfillment of being with your person, spirit are saying really clearly. And this is why that Blinded by the Light song came on, that they can't sleep until they feel your touch. There is this very kind of strong, heavy feeling in the heart of a longing energy, a yearning energy. Uh, but with that, you also have this direct movement and you have cards of kind of movement popping over all over the place. So your person is gonna start reaching out to you if you're not in contact, or if you are in contact, they're gonna start making the next steps into giving you the committed relationship that you desire. And it does feel to be an emerging of your energies, a coming together of your energies and a being as one spirit is saying. And I just got um, a bit naughty, naughty one who remembers this one, the Spice Girls, when two become one. Um, emerging of your energies coming together. With that as well over here, anywhere that you guys have been holding on again to stuff that's happened in the past and you feel like you've been going round in this little bit of a cycle, that cycle is now breaking between the two of you. And, and through that breaking, you're going to start giving birth to new dreams. Also, potentially kids coming up. So some of you guys that are thinking you want marriage, you want the house, you want the white picket fence, both marriage and kids have gone come up in these cards. So the potential for the two of you to take this to the next steps is really beneficial. It well, really good. Spirit also kind of interrupted me there. And I know that some of you guys are in long distance relationships. Spirit is saying with that, there is still this, um, even in the long distance relationships, there's still really good potential for you guys to work out. And I just saw, um, a move the clip from et where he puts his hand out and says et phone home you know there is this kind of direct communication going on with you guys um either on an ethereal rain uh realm rain ethereal rain uh realm 
or on an earthly realm as well. So if you're not in communication at the moment, it will be happening on the higher dimensions. So watch out for your dreams. Uh, you will notice a visitation in your dreams if your dreams are full of really vivid colours and you don't see your person's mouth moving. If you see their mouth moving in your dreams, um, this is your subconscious processing. Okay, so it's a really easy way of working out what is higher vibration and coming from the higher dimensions and what is your subconscious processing, okay? So breaking out of a cycle that you two have been involved in for months, years, uh, for some of you as well, and giving birth to new ideas and new dreams coming forward there. Things are starting to change into your favor. Um, especially Spirit is saying with the autumn equinox just gone, um, there is this need for new birth to come forward. So we're letting go of all the things that have helped, hurt us in the past, releasing all this negativity and moving forward to the new the new chapters, definite stance of moving forward to new chapters coming up, okay? Um, and with that, you've got this very strong positive energy. And again, regardless of your situations, regardless of um, if they're long distance, if there was someone else, the potential for the two of you is absolutely um, really good. It's really, really good. And you have this direct movement coming in. Um, what it stands on and what we need to kind of step away from what you guys need to step away from is all the stuff that's happened in the past this is where this need for this this um self realigning will come forward because what happened in the past is you might have felt that you detached from yourself a little bit because you wanted your person so badly um you might have felt that you were really giving control to them and not control to you and so you you kind of distance yourself some of you not all of you so you kind of distance yourself from the essence of who you are so this bit of downtime regardless of where you are at the moment this bit of downtime that you are going to be having having is going to be realigning your guys energy okay so it's really positive um if you can do this this is where the crux is okay if you can get past all of this then you've got this really strong potential of things moving and the, the likelihood of you being together is a lot more positive than it is negative. So yes, there is a very strong chance that you guys are going to make it work if you can put all of this stuff to bed. Now this as well, Spirit are just interrupting me a little bit. First of all, they're saying it is going to take a bit of teamwork, okay? So we don't want you to get back into a situation where you did feel that you were detaching yourself from what it is that you want and who you are. And um, when they do come back or when you do communicate with this communication coming forward, you are going to need to talk to them honestly about how it's made you feel and what you want from the situation. Because if you do that, then these progression routes are really, really strong. But you have to... Um, keep that energy keeping that queen of swords keeping that bitch power and that sassy sexy powerful energy um for this to move into your favor okay so just keep your wits about you with it um don't be roped in by false promises make sure that they show you their actions and not their words because if they don't show you with their actions again you're going to end up detaching yourself from the person that you are so you do just need to be a little bit careful of that um but overall there is it will take work it will take work, but the likelihood of you being together is really, really strong, okay? And that's really cool. That's Those are good cards, good cards, good feelings. Um, yeah, looks really positive for you both. And remember that Blinded by the Light song? As you know, as and as I said with the autumn equinox, as, as the leaves start to, you know, fall from the trees and the colours become really beautiful, this is a time of transformation and change. And this is what is going to be happening in your relationship. You're going to be going through this transformation and changes. Um, and those transformation and changes with open communication is going to keep this relationship progressing in the right direction. So it's really good. Okay, guys, and that is deck number one. Um, have a really good week. As I said to you, I am away um, in October for a week at conferences and all sorts of things going on. Um, so if you want to book, they've got a few spaces left before I go. Um, if not, there's going to be a little bit of a longer wait time. So just be aware of that. Okay, guys, tons of love to you, deck number one. Speak to you soon. Okay, guys, deck number two. Let's do this. I just said on deck number one, if you just um, tuned in. I sliced and diced my finger good and proper. So I'm having to use a alternative tarot shuffling method. It's uh, taking a new level of expertise to shuffle the cards. Think about your person for me. Let's get into their person's energy. Person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of deck number two. 
Okay, so I have a song for you coming through my right ear. When it's my right ear, it's always higher dimensions. My left ear is close, guys. My right ear is ascended masters and archangels and very high vibration, guys. And I'm getting that. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, are them people watching will and their person, will they be together? Will they make it work? Will they be together? One. Oh, it's everyone's favourite card, but the Eight of Swords coming out first. Will they be together? Now, I love this deck because this deck has got two Eight of Swords. And I don't know if it was a misprint when it, because it's first edition. I don't know if it was a misprint um, on the cards. But the likelihood of you out of the 79, because there's two of them, 79 cards in the deck, you got two Eight of Swords, okay? Let me get a few more with deck number two. Will they end up being together? Oosh. One. Two. Three. Okay, so there is very, very sticky energy around you and your person at this moment in time it's possible that you're having arguments co conflicts you're not really sure what is going on you're feeling fed up you're feeling chained you're not sure how to break away from this connection you're not sure if you even want to break away from this connection you don't really know what is going on but you're still holding hope that this connection is going to progress between the two of you now with these eight of swords spirit are saying on one hand there is you and on one hand there is your person so both of you are feeling this very very sticky energy around the connection. Neither of you have broken away from it though. So if you're worrying over here that, you know, if you're not in contact or, or whatever your individual circumstances is, they've backed away, you're both still very much chained to one another. And with this as well, you can clearly see a mirroring energy going on. Okay, so you and your person are mirroring one another's emotions, one another's thoughts, one another's feelings. Anywhere that you're feeling shitty, your person's feeling shitty. Anywhere that you're feeling having a better day, your person is having a better day. And you have this very strong mirroring energy going on here. Now, have we got any other eights? No. Okay, I just want to talk to you about the numerology of this for a second with the two eights coming up. This is a symbol, uh, symbolism of the infinity sign. Okay, if we turn the eights to the side, that is the symbol of infinity. So this is likely to be a more divine connection between the two of you, um, potentially twin flames, stronger vibrational car uh, soulmates but you do have an element of karma with your person as well, okay? So you've got this very sticky energy and the reason for this kind of coming forward is this karmic cycle. So um, some of you guys will have had, well, any kind of twin flame relationship or even higher vibrational soulmate relationship, you and your person will still have karma, okay? Because you live multiple, multiple lifetimes on earth and we, um, we accrue karmic, karmic energy we accrue it so there is definitely this karmic energy coming forward with you guys um and your person it would be worth having a look at clearing it i do do past life readings if you want one where we clear the karmic debt that you are accrued um but you can also equally do it yourself if you go on youtube having a look at clearing karmic debt okay so you have this karma coming forward and you might feel that at the moment you're being handed a really shit load of like dud cards that everything's a bit crappy around you um and it's, it is, it's the sticky, stagnant energy going on between you both. Now, we also have with this, this kind of page energy coming forward with the page of cups and the page of pentacles over here. Your person is potentially acted a little bit immature over the situation. And again, potentially you guys have as well. Please don't take that the wrong way. But with this mirroring energy, we can really see you guys, your cards splitting up between the two of you as you echo. So you potentially, we would say probably you guys come through more with the cops energy, the romance side of things, the messages of love, and your person has kind of come forward more on a stable point of view, trying to get that stability more in their head. But both of these sides have got this kind of 
potential immaturity. I'm not saying that you guys have been immature, but there has been this potential for this immaturity. And Spirit is saying with that, it's kind of like a game of tic-tac-toe, that, you know, you've both been making your moves. We call it noughts and crosses in England. It took me ages to realise what tic-tac-toe was, um, but Spirit just said tic-tac-toe really clearly, okay? So it's this kind of game that you guys have been playing where one of you's made a move and the next person's made a move and the next one. Um, and it does, and it's made you both feel quite stuck from the situation. Now, if we took it to the next level, when we're talking about you guys having a future, um, we have these kind of offerings coming forward over here based on romance and stability, but you guys have really, your person has got to start up in their game for this to work out between the two of you. Because at the moment, they haven't really been giving you that much. They've been acting more on logic than their emotions. And um, they've been in this kind of King of Swords energy where you've been trying to get forward and break through to them and they've had this brick wall up and you've been trying to bash this brick wall down and even then they haven't been giving you the answers and what it is that you want from the connection. So you might decide at some point that you want to take a step back from the situation. If that happens um, and you'll start putting yourself first, please Please know that the situation will keep on going because like number eight, like the symbology at the start, the eight is the helix, the energetic helixes that twin flames share. So you will be waving in and out of each other's life, like the number eight going all the way up, kind of enrooted into your DNA. So with that number eight going all the way up with your helixes, even if you do take a step back from the situation or your person does, your energies will come back together. However, for the two of you to be together, there is going to be a need for serious work. OK, because they're your person's not going to have a personality transplant. They go through stages when they are really positive about the situation and then really negative about it. And you just some kind sometimes can feel like you're getting whiplash from it because your head is going backwards and forwards with all the kind of information that they're giving you. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes you want more um, and it gives you that kind of headache and that pain. I just got a massive headache to this side of me there. So at least one of you is going to be getting a headache uh, in the next couple of days, which I know is kind of but on this side what side is that my left I, have to, I sometimes have to do that still with my left and my right I'm not very good with earthy things like money and lefts and rights. Okay, so when this uh there is potential over here for conflict happening as well. Also, again, this needs to break a cycle. If you guys can break this cycle and break through all this kind of very deep, intense, sticky energy around you both, then there is the potential over here for a union, for coming together. But this stagnant energy is very, very strong at the moment, um, even with these kind of offers coming forward. So it looks like you guys are just going to keep spinning around in a cycle until one of you decides to break it, give the person what they want or step away. What's the future will they be together them and their person clearing that karma is going to be a really good way for you guys um to to break out of this cycle before they end up together so you might be feeling again at the moment that you're at a sense of loss uh, perhaps your person might have had a few little narcissistic tendencies i'm not calling them narcissists or toxic or anything like that but there's sometimes we have tendencies to be these type of people uh, you know some of the tendencies from that so that's coming up as well and um, either way the connection between the two of you is more difficult um also with that as well there's potentially other people involved in it if you are a third party so it is going to take some serious work for you guys to make it work at the moment, um, it's not 100%. No, it's not going to work out. But you have got to really, both of you, put the work in together to make it work. Because at the moment, it is looking quite a complex, complicated situation. And there doesn't... that the Whatever direction you're looking at it, there isn't much resolve from it at this moment in time. Your biggest resolve here, Spirit is saying, is going to be time. So you're going to be feeling like a loss from your person at this moment, you're going to be feeling that they let you down and um, that they either betrayed you, hurt you, um, or that they just haven't been honest with themselves or with you over the situations and situation. And you're going to be feeling your person's loss right now, feeling very, very low. Um, 
through that as well, there is this kind of sexual energy coming up between you both as your person perhaps is just giving you either a little bit of sexual energy um, rather than emotional energy. And you might be feeling with that again, that there's a sense of dishonesty and falseness coming up. Um, you're wondering, are they being honest with you? Are they telling you the truth? What's actually happening? Where can this situation go? And you have this deception again, potentially third party situation going on there if you do uh if you do not know about a third party uh, i.e someone else then don't get uh, your knickers in a twist about it it will be only those people that know about it spirit are saying so at the moment this has come to a close or is potentially leading to a close now if it comes to a close as we said with the this helixes even if you guys take a step back for the time being and you let the situation come to a close, your energies will come back around and from there you can decide what it is what that you want to do. And this is why you have these pages energy coming forward here as well. Um, there is going to be offers made to you, but what it is that you want is going to come down to you. You know, are you going to keep pursuing this and seeing what happens between the two of you or will you have enough and walk away? And that's going to be down to you guys. Um, it's not 100% doom and gloom spirit, I'll say, but it is going to take a lot of work for the two of you to come together in a relationship with one another. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that has got to be resolved. And the main reason for that is this karmic energy coming up. So have a go at clearing karma. Again, if you need me for a past life reading, um, just give me a shout. This is going to be really beneficial to you guys as well. Um, also with that spirit, I was saying that there is a few blocks in your energies as a whole. Uh, for deck number two, you've got blocks um, in your chakras so maybe get some crystals to kind of realign your chakras keep your energy as pure as possible remember with this mirroring energy that you are picking up on your person as well okay so it's not just your emotions you're picking up on your person's emotions 98 percent of our emotions that we feel are not our own we do pick up on other people so when that happens um just say who does this belong to if the energy feels lighter just say return to sender and send it back okay and um, because you will be feeling quite heavy with their energy as well it's not all doom and gloom there is potential okay there is potential for you guys to make it work and especially with the pages coming up over here but this story has got to be rewritten because the past keeps repeating itself um and that will carry on that will carry on until one of you decides to break away break the cycle break the chain break the wheel as the Khaleesi was saying game of thrones you've got to break the wheel and if you can break the wheel then there is potential but it's at the very early stages of potential progressing okay um keep your wits about you you know be sensible um there is there is this kind of heavy feeling going on around you guys and again like i said if you keep your energy as clean as possible it uh, you know people think energy is just energy it's not it's all around us it's in our auras energy emotion energy and motion wherever your energy goes wherever your emotions go is where the energy flows and if you're in this very very heavy energy you're feeling lost and confused and stuck you will find that you are detaching yourself um from your energetic level so again keeping your energy as clear as possible is going to help that not all doom and gloom but this is going to take some serious groundwork from both of you, not just one of you. And if you can do that and you can meet in the middle, then it will work. If you can't, then you've got to assess what it is that you want. Again, probably not what you want to know. I always say to people, it's not what you want to know. It is what you need to know. Um, your person isn't very good at opening up about emotions. There is a lot of conflicting energy around them. They are battling their head and their heart. Their emotions are there for you. Um, but they're basically just being a bit of an a-hole and not dealing with the situation in the right way. Probably largely with a lot of you, the reason for that is because of circumstances rather than their actual emotions for you. Your person lets situations dictate themselves due to circumstances. And this is what provides this conflicting energy around you okay so you're both mirroring you're both echoing you're both kind of feeling the same from the situation your person is acting more on the logical side of things you have all this kind of worries and concerns going on over here about what's happened where is it going is it going to work isn't it going to work um even if you take as i said even if you you split 
or you aren't together and you take this time out, your energies will align again with one another and you can talk to your person then about what it is that you want. Again, it does feel to be more circumstantial than emotional based. So there'll be circumstances that are holding the two of you um, away from one another at this point in time. But that, that being said, we still have potential. It's just going to take some serious work from both of you, not just you, from both of you. Okay, and that is deck number two. So if you knew me, uh, drop me a message. I am away in October for a week. Um, so I have a couple of spaces before I go. Um, if not, the wait time is going to go up slightly as I go away. And my out of office is going to be on for that week. So if you need me, um, now is the time to get me. Okay, guys, have a really good week. Um, I'm going to send some healing out to you guys for deck number two because it was quite a heavy, sad energy. Um, I'll send you guys that healing. Um, look after yourselves. I will speak to you soon. God bless my angels. Bye.